Another application of the mean value theorem involves a statement about fixed points. Well, suppose we have a function defined on R, or basically an interval in R, and such that f is differentiable. And suppose that the derivative is never equal to 1. Now, so f prime x is unequal to 1 for all x. Then we may show that f has maximally one fixed point. Yeah, a is a fixed point of f if f a equals a. Yeah, so the statement here is there is at most one fixed point, meaning that there's at most one x star with f x star equals x star. Well, a proof goes as follows. Again, we use a proof by contradictions. So suppose we have two values for x. And suppose there are a and b in R, a and b unequal, so say without loss of general. Uh, generality, we may assume that a is smaller than b, such that f a equals a and f b equals b. So basically this says, suppose we have two fixed points of the function f. Well, the mean value theorem says, well, f is differentiable, so it's continuous. So continuous as well then the mean value theorem says that there should be a C in AB, in the open interval AB, such that the derivative in C equals FB minus FA divided by B minus A. Yeah, but since FB equals B and FA equals A, this is the same as saying that this equals b minus a divided by b minus a. Yeah, so, and this, of, or, of course, equals 1. So we derive, we arrive at a contradiction since we assume that the derivative is never equal to 1. So it cannot be 1 in C.